Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, me and Ben are going to be reviewing Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2. So, long story short, uh, we bought the first one, or I bought the first one for PS4 on Black Friday a few years ago, right when it came out, and I noticed an issue with the game, and I just contacted them, uh, because I thought that it was a good game, and it was just had one little minor issue, so I contacted the people over at Game Mill Entertainment, and just told them the issue, and nobody brought it to their attention. So they actually hooked us up for this video with a free digital copy of the second game, uh, Nickelodeon Kart Racers Grand Prix. So uh, appreciate it from yeah, thank uh, you. appreciate Paul from uh, Game Mill Entertainment for hooking us up. Um, but I just wanted to put that out there that this is a sponsored video by them. All right, so. We don't have the actual copy because it's a... We both have the first one. Uh, I have it on my Switch, he has it on PlayStation, and he has the new one for... Well, you have it for PlayStation, right? Or No, he has it for Switch. Yeah. I have the new one for Switch, they gave me a code for it. But uh, we were playing the game, and honestly, the first one wasn't bad, um, but it honestly, if I'm going to be straight up, I think it was a little... It seemed a little rushed. The second one, however, when me and Sam... And my girlfriend Jamie played it yesterday. We had a blast. It was it was way better. Okay, first off, there's this more was, characters. The first one was a little lackluster, I will have to say. The only thing I didn't enjoy about the first one is that there was really nothing to unlock. I mean, there was carts that you could buy and things, but when it comes down to it, I like to be able to unlock all the characters, and they have different challenges in this one. modes. So that is really, uh, really cool. They have a little bit of uh, side characters you can have on, uh, on your... Um, with your team, pretty much, that give you different advantages. I also like the maps in this one a lot better. The other ones felt a little bit... Obviously, you're playing, uh, you know... Nickelodeon characters. Nickelodeon maps, so they're yeah. going to be a little funky, but they were very distracting in the last one. This one, I felt like they have uh, Avatar The Last Airbender maps, and those are kind of generic. They're very, like, normal-type yeah, they're just type maps, yeah. and those ones I really enjoy. It's really, really solid gameplay. Straightforward gameplay. Uh, the overall mechanics feel so much better in this one. I feel like the first one, you, I, I know that Ben's girlfriend Jamie had said, you did move at a snail's pace in the first one. But in the second one, you feel like you're going so much faster. You have more control over the car. I feel like it was very sensitive to when you moved in the first yeah, one. Yeah, the handling was a lot better, it, I feel. It definitely got more on the handling. The power-ups are cooler, for sure. Um, yeah, overall gameplay is very good. I will have to say some of the maps are a little bit distracting with, like, the colors and the movement, but it's overall a very good experience. Here's my biggest thing. <clears throat> Obviously, the number one competitor, I'm going to keep using this because we don't have the physical copy of the second one, but when it comes to competing, their only competition is Mario Kart. Is Mario Kart. They have Sonic the Hedgehog kart racing and but Crash Bandicoot racing. Who's going to compare to that? No school! Honestly, it's them and Mario Kart for me. Um, I know they had like a Cartoon Network one back in the day for PS2 that I think I had, but regardless, this one is... Way better. I don't think it's... It can't compete because, it, first off... They're different. They're completely different, like, universes. They're their Switch, own thing. Switch, that's a first-party game for the Switch, so you know it's going to be a home run. Of course. I will say, though, the edge that this game has over Mario Kart is the unlockable characters. Mario Kart, you just jump in and you have you everything. You jump in, you have everyone. And the only thing you can unlock is cards. Right. And I honestly really don't care about the card. But, but this one, it kind of... You do all of these challenges um, inside of the game. So you... Uh, for one of them, it was... Uh, you would have to throw balls at these targets, but you would unlock like characters and power-ups through those games, which I thought was really cool, because the first one was just like, you have everything, you're not doing much, and you're, just, you're only going to play this during a party. But yeah, I was going to say, one, the first one was more of a party game, but the thing that I love the most is when in Mario Kart they have the ink go over your screen so you can't see. Oh my god, from the power up in this one, right? They so have the hand from, from SpongeBob. SpongeBob go over your screen so you can't see it and I love it. I'll that. insert a clip of it. We're going to put gameplay over us talking, but uh we should mention the characters. There are more characters in this one. But the first one it it did the job, but in the second one they just went above and beyond. It's completely one negative. Jojo Siwa. 
they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. I think a, a lot of the misconceptions with everything, and like most things in life now, it's like the sequel's never gonna be as good. But with this, it is ten times better. Yeah. With the first one, when we got it, we were like, this is kind of cool, we can play this every once in a while, but with this new one, it brings so much more to the table, it puts out a lot more that you can do. Cool. So, overall review, out of 10, what would you say? I'll give it an 8, 8.75. 8. I'll, gi I'll give it a 9. The only point missing was because of JoJo. Well, we're going to play a little bit. Yeah, we're going to go play it. So, see ya.